Tap 10 exclusive. We are the internet. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck going on. Goddamn. You're going to bring us in or something? No, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. You sure? I'm sure, yeah. Oh, wow. All right. I'm, I'm on my best behavior. <clears throat> All right. Tapped in podcast. We're joined today with Wi Fi's funeral. Your Florida you legend, uh, f- like by every metric, a Florida legend. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, by streams, by history, by fucking legacy, Florida legend. Ton of but, fucking bodies of work, everything. But man. from uh, the Bronx. Yeah. Originally, bo- or born in the Bronx. Yeah, I was born in the Bronx, and I moved from the Bronx when I was like seven to uh, to Lake Park. Oh, okay, cool. That's so, like that's like in uh, Palm Beach. Area. Yeah. Do yeah. you do you remember like the Bronx at all growing up? Yeah, like, vividly. I was like living with my grandmother. Me and my mom were at the time, and I remember just going to the bodegas, going here, going there, yeah. going up the street to go play handball, like all types of shit. Right. And What's, I would go there like every other like summer to go visit my grandparents. So I would always be going back and forth. So you, yeah, one, one foot in, in one yeah. foot out. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say. um did you go to school at all though in New York while growing up? There? Like I went to kindergarten and shit. Okay. And then first grade through like tenth, or, or, I did oh, okay. it to, in in, uh, in Florida, and then yeah. I dropped out tenth grade. So. Got you. Yeah. yeah. What do you feel like New York at all kind of influenced your sound, or is it all Florida? Um, I like think, having you know. I think I think Florida influenced my sound, but I think New York gave me that drive because a lot of people from New York are just like go getters. They're hungry. Right. They just they right. want to show you that they're the best. Right. You know what I mean. Right. So I think I got I had that mentality. Yeah. But the the, the sound is definitely always Florida. It's Florida, yeah. Yeah, man. I I, lo- I love Florida. <laughs> yeah. What uh, dropping out in tenth grade? That's how soon did you start making music? I was already making music at that time, but I had a conversation with my grandmother, and she was like a teacher for like thirty years. Wow. I was learning like third grade work in like first grade. You feel me? Wow. So like it's you already not, had to jump on shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's not that I was stupid, like you know what I mean. I know I'm not stupid, but right. I just kind of knew that I was just sitting in a in a class. Personally, for me at least, I was sitting in a class for seven hours for no reason, just learning the same shit over and over again, just in a higher vocabulary. And when I sat down and I talked to my grandmother about it, she's like, "Oh, well, what do you want to do with your life?" And I was just like, "Oh, well, I want to be a rapper." She's yeah. like, "Okay, well, if you want to be a rapper, then it seems like you know what you want to do with your life." And you don't really need to be going to school. Right. So, you know, my grandmother that was a teacher for 30 years told me to drop out. And I was like, didn't like necessarily tell me to drop out, but she right. was like, go follow, your dream. Yeah, go follow your dream. Yeah. That Shout was probably out the best advice I ever Shout I, out granny. I ever got. Yeah, facts. Yeah. It's probably the best advice I ever got. Yeah, I was going to say any, I always been, I've been saying this a lot lately. Anything you're doing besides what you love is wasting your time. Facts and a shout yeah. out to Granny once again, man. That was some good advice. That's like the realest shit a Granny ever said. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, follow your dreams. Yeah. Straight up like that. So I was like, do I bet I'm finna just go do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm, do you do you remember the last day you went to school? Did you like do like some dramatic shit? Like, man, fuck <laughs> this, I'm leaving, man. No, but it, they, was you kind of like on the edge about it for a nah, minute? No, it wasn't even that. Oh, I really wasn't even supposed to drop out to like the following year. Like, I was gonna finish my tenth grade year. And then for 11 to 12, I was just going to be like, fuck it. I was at least going to give my mom that. You feel me? Right. Yeah. But um, we have this standardized testing in Florida called the FCAT. Okay. And I had to take the FCAT. And there was this kid that that was like my homeboy at the time. And he had sold me like a wee brownie. Basically, long story short, I didn't want to give him $5 for a wee brownie because that shit didn't get me high. <laughs> and I feel like he capped on me. So he started making a scene, got me sent to ISS, whatever, whatever. Bro sending me text messages about like, oh, like. I'm finna like follow you to the crib. I was high shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Then he said some shit about my mom, which was petty. As but as a kid, it just got me hot because my mom had cancer at the time. Wow. So anybody that was saying anything about my mom, like I was just it's fucking on, us off, yeah. on site. But yeah, I didn't yeah. tell nobody that. You everybody I mean? knew. Everybody knew when you was young. Mommy was on site. They yeah. Already know. Yeah, but I, I would never tell anybody anything like about my mom or like what she's going through. So I would just keep it to myself. I make it seem like my mom's perfectly normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he had said some shit about my mom, and I just lost it. So we in the fourth, we in the fourth floor. That's where we be taking the test. I'm all the way at the first in ISS. I ran from ISS all the way up to the fourth floor, like bust Be-long. through the room, and I just I had to give it to him, bro. Like, wow. Yeah, just off the sake of my mom, I ain't give a shit about anything else. You right. feel me? Like, and then I split his eyebrow open. <laughs> I got. I got expelled and then I just dropped <laughs> out. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, Beautiful. fuck it. I was okay. gonna drop out anyways. You yeah, know what I'm like, thanks. You already yeah. had your mind made up. Yeah. So you know. So, but it, I didn't want to leave on that note. I wasn't trying to be on no on no crazy extra shit, shit. To be yeah, honest yeah. with you, I was actually just trying to finish my school year. You feel me? Right. So boom, you out of school. Yeah. You making music immediately, 
or you were sitting around for a while? Nah, my mom ain't support the fact that the whole music shit. Nah, it's not that she ain't support it. It was more like you know she ain't really see substance in it. I wasn't making right. any money off of it. I was just a kid with a dream. Right. And to her, and to her eyes, that just wasn't reality at the time. Reality was right. is that you ain't got no money in your pocket. Right. And now you about to face like the real world. You about to do like grown man shit now. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, Training like, wheels are all. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like and, and I decided to do that at a very young age. I decided to do that shit at like 14, 15. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like Yeah. She just she just told me straight up, like, yo, like you just you can't be here. So I was just like, I bet like cause she she's like, you know, I, I refuse to raise somebody that I don't approve of shit that they doing. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. that I'm disowning you or anything like that, but I'm just not trying to conduct that in my household. Which right. and then that's my mom at the end of the day. So yeah, you know what I mean? Like I respected that. It, it really it is what it it is what it is. It wasn't like how my stepdad was. My stepdad was just kicking me out like left and right. Wow. I'd be on probation like da 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 like all types of shit. Like he wasn't even trying to hear it. Nah, and me and him ain't really never get along like that. But my mom was a G though. Like you know what I mean? Like even though like she kind of like. Told me I had to leave. She was still like check up on me. Right. I would never ask her for bread or anything like that. I was always making shit myself. You know right. what I'm saying? But like, she'd always check up on me. Like, still play that that role as a mom. You feel me? Right. It's Do just, you? Like, I, have, I guess raising a man is like kind of different for a I was, woman. You know. What I was yeah. gonna say now when you was going through it, you probably had a different insight about it. But now seeing in hindsight, yeah. you was like maybe that was her way of making you know putting you in a position, and that's why you are why you are today. Yeah, no, you know definitely. What I'm saying? I mean. It, it, if it wasn't for my mom and her like just driving me, right. like, even down when I was down in my lowest, right? Feel me? I don't think I'd be able to like overcome a lot of shit. My mom's a very strong like individual. She did yeah. like a lot of shit. Shout out mommy. Yeah, shout out my mom. Yeah. Shout out all the moms all in the world. Moms, yeah. That's a hard moms. job, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Because we some wild motherfuckers and you know yeah. what the fuck going they on. Deal, they deal so, with the most shit. The worrisome nights of my mom. Especially no matter which type of kid you are. Yep. If you would give money, yeah. if you a druggie, if you a rocker, whatever. Doesn't matter. You are. They, if they give a fuck, they give a fuck. Word. Yeah. Yep. How much of your success do you think comes from the drive to like you know uh, make your mom happy, and then also the drive to maybe like get revenge on your stepdad? I mean, <laughs> like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Success I, I, is the best I, I, revenge. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say get fuck revenge. Fuck stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, you feel I, me? I, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say it like that. Like although me and him ain't really like get along and shit like that. Like right. He 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 kind of he he did what he had to do. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like on some personal shit. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like he just. There's no animosity though. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's no it's no love lost, no love found. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. Right. But it's just on some shit where there's just certain boundaries that have been crossed, like as man to man. That like. Right. I don't think it's just. We don't see eye to eye on that. Yeah, shit. and I'm not gonna get mad at you. Like you my right. dad at the end of the day, but it's like you feel me. I just know where the right. boundary is. You know what I mean? Right. I know where this is where the line crosses, and I ain't finna just cross that line. So right. you know, as a man, don't cross my line either. You know what I mean? Right. My mom is different. My mom, like me and her, we kind of like damn near the same person. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, but I I would never want to get revenge on him. But it de- but it definitely does like help me strive <laughs> to like help my mom, just my whole family out in general, even with him. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, just to make sure that everybody's straight. That's always been my, my main priority to make sure that I could leave some behind that, you know, my little sister could be straight. Right. And my other little sisters could be straight, and my my little brother and my other little brother could be straight. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. In general, yeah. keep that shit going. Like yeah, run yeah. it up. Got you. No, I've yeah. definitely I've heard you talk about like how much you you know love your family and yeah, definitely. how much they uh, kind of like drive you. Uh, do you feel like at this point, because, I mean, you've been making music since 2014, yeah, I feel yeah, like, right? It's, it had to be 2014. Like Wi-Fi's funeral, I think, was 2014. Dude, I'm only 23. That shit still seems <laughs> yeah, like... I was you know gonna, what I mean? <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. Okay, you 23, 20, about to be 24, maybe. Mm-hmm. How, do you feel like life has been, like, fucking crazy? Mm-hmm. Like, you've been through a lot of <laughs> yep. shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely, bro. I've been through so much shit in the past, like, five years of my life. Even the past five years is just like... Yeah, the past five years has been... Yeah, I mean, from 2014 till now... Yeah, that's just been... Some real lesson learner? I mean, dog, Every I feel like every day is like that, dog. I, I, I would... I'd tell all my friends, I'm like, bro, if my show was... If my life was a sitcom TV show... <laughs> Yo, I'd make millions of dollars. <laughs> you should just wild shit happen. Maybe that's the next step, bro. In the wildest shit. That's why we gotta. I would watch that bro. show. The wildest shit be happening, and you know what's so crazy? I don't even get myself in these type of situations. Like I be so naive to shit. Right. I just be so like kind hearted with with and shit. And then it just and then bites the ugliest you. shit just be popping up out of nowhere, bro. 
Damn. That's crazy. Maybe instead of, uh, you know, FX has Dave, we could have Wi-Fi. Oh, my God. That would be not, a crazy show. About, hey. Shout out, yo, FX, hit him up. Well, this up. is on camera. I don't, I don't, I don't think the world ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real. That shit is gonna it's be too hey, crazy. You remember? That shit is gonna be TVMA. <laughs> uh, hey, you T- got TV hey, NC17. Hey, you know yeah. what they should bring back? Remember they used to have that MTV shit. The um, what would they like? They used to follow you around for the day. It was like a vlog. Um, Tapped in outside. No, <laughs> yeah, that's that new shit. But um, it was called uh, shit. What's it called? You don't know. You is think you know, called? but you have no idea. Oh, true life. True life. True life. Yo, Damn, that would be funny as yeah, fuck. Yeah, that would be crazy. Life, Wi-Fi edition. It was like three days. I remember Ja Rule jumped off with this nigga on his back. That was funny <laughs> on the skydiving shit. That was crazy. funny. <laughs> so, uh, when you dropped Wi-Fi's funeral, were you already out of school? Yeah. So at that point, you'd already been. Uh, you had left school and shit. Yeah, had to. Was there anybody you were like collaborating with at the time that kind of helped you develop that project, or was it just you kind of solo? Uh, Jay Splash at the time. Um, I forgot the person that made uh, Light Skin Trick Daddy, but the person that made Light Skin Trick Daddy for me, that producer. <laughs> shout out. Yeah, shout out him. My bad. Fire name. How'd you come up with that name, or who came up with that name? I came up with that name. I was like sixteen. That was the first song I ever made, like as a like rapper, rapper. And you yeah. used to listen to Trick Daddy a lot, being yeah, from Florida. Yeah, bro, I'm from Trick, Florida. Yeah. Trick Daddy got bars, and he's like the Godfather of Florida. <laughs> hey, I man. met Trick Daddy at the strip club like not even a year ago. No way. Cool nigga. I swear to God, yeah, like. I can't like it was me, my dog, my other homeboy. We at the strip club, we like throwing like fifties and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a good number. And then next thing you know, like I'm just being realistic. I ain't, no, I, like I ain't balling, balling, but, but I, when I go to the strip club, I fuck off. Up. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, he better than me because I ain't throwing no fifties in the strip club, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> so like we just throwing fifties and shit. Next thing you know, I see Trick. I'm drunk as shit. I'm like, oh, Trick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm light skin trick, nigga. He's like, he's like, he's, he's, like, he's, like, he's like, what's good, young nigga? <laughs> <laughs> and then he went to his section and everybody was just chilling, you feel me? Wow. Yeah, it was was that like a crazy feeling for you? Uh, as... I was drunk as shit. <laughs> I love how f- Miami and Florida area is like strip club heaven. You could just get strip clubs yeah, everywhere, bro, they, man. They're, they're butt ass naked. Yes. Like, it's amazing. And That's the food sick. is good, too. So it just makes it Wings, all good. Wings, naked. Fat asses, and there's different go. and there's different like layers of the strip club in Florida. You can get like hood, like Ain't fifty dollar bottles. Some lemon pepper wings in the strip club. Yes, and, and some watch, Hennessy. And you just sitting there just watching the these bitches go to work. Shout out Lou Williams. Yeah. Shout out, shout out thick strong women. Yeah, strong buff tings. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's wild, bro. So uh, Wi Fi's funeral. Uh, you weren't collaborating with anybody at that point. Like at what? Like when did you start collaborating with other Florida people? Like fucking with other Florida artists? Cause I know like 2016. 2016. Yeah, I say like and 2016, heading into 2017. That's when like the whole members is a members only game. Yeah, they started. I had my own shit too at the time, and then what I, was the name of your shit? Uh, my shit was Rich Life. Rich Life. Yeah. Okay, boom. So oh, Rich Life yeah, teamed yeah, yeah, up yeah. with. Uh, basically, yeah. I mean, but everybody that was in Rich Life was already a members only, so it was just like same shit. Yeah. It's like the same shit. It was yeah. just like a different branch. You know what I'm saying? Right. How'd you guys come up with the name Members Only and why did y'all want that to be the name? I didn't come up with it. Uh, X came up with it. That's okay. X's shit. Okay. So like, Shout you know what I mean? Yeah. Like him and Ski came up with that whole plat, that whole platform. I just, I brought myself to the table and X was like, yeah, come on. And y'all just all being at the same place yeah, at the same yeah, time yeah, type yeah, of vibe. Yeah, we lived together for like a year or two. It's dope. Wow. How yeah. was that? Hectic. <laughs> How was that as, a, as an experience? In yeah, just living with people hectic It's just crazy, general. right? We were all different. But the collaboration, like in terms of music and shit, me and X really didn't collab on music like that. We probably only made like three songs together. Right. And realistically, like we were just really friends. That's right. really all it was. Like, same with me and Ski. Like me and Ski only got one song together, and that's right. like off one of our homeboy songs. Like, right. We don't really even care about music. We we just really fought with each other as individuals. Just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really like, just homies. Yeah, it, was, it was really like some brotherhood Deeper shit music, like back yeah. then. You, you know doing music, I'm doing music. Let's just let's link up. Like, you feel me? It's like, bro, somebody gotta eat. Whoever eat, bro, like you feel right. me? Congratulations. It's not even I'm asking you for a plate right. to eat. It's just like somebody gotta do it. You yeah. feel me? So it's gotta happen. Gotta so let's just all put that energy into each other and let's just hope one of us do it. Yeah. I like that. I call it. It's cra- it's crazy that all you individually kind of did it. Yeah. That's nuts. Like that's that's extreme. I feel like, like I math. just stood in my lane personally. Like I never, <laughs> I never over push my boundaries. Like I'm not over here acting like something I'm not. I'm just myself. Right. You feel me? Thank like. You. But you've seen success Thank in that. You. Yeah. You haven't had to bend or twist. I mean, or, I kind of. You know what I mean? This, you know? this industry is tricky, bro. They treat right. you up and spit you out. 
Right. It's just like that's what I was saying. Being twenty three yeah. and the shit that you've been through already, like just being through music business, the wisdom, being signed, yeah. all the different shit, just madness. Dog is yes. And it's traumatizing, low key. I'm not gonna lie. That's why we smoke big Kush. <laughs> No, nope. that's why you off like, the like, like getting into this music industry will give you PTSD for real, dog. I swear right, to God. right. I swear to God, that's everybody. Even if you're yeah. getting money, money like that, bro. I didn't see people with like bank rolls, bro. I'm talking like making bank off music. Yeah, they still paranoid off little shit. Right, Feel right. Me? Yeah, they getting their masters and shit ain't even good enough to them. They want more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. like it's, it's so much to keep your eyes on, man, and it's hard to have your eyes everywhere. It's like the trust factor is just not there. Yeah, because the money makes it. I always people say, "Well, I don't have a price." Everybody has a price. Right. I hate to say it. Every there's a about there's an amount of money that makes everybody weird. Yeah. Okay. So cap. That's fact. If you say That's that true. it's like um That's that fact. there's not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and they say, well, "What about the billionaires and the trillionaires?" Well, they funny too. They they moves is different. They do act funny for the money. Just <laughs> FYI. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, back to the, back to the back to the. Part of members only was Rob Banks in that too. Yeah. Cause we yeah we, Rob was in members only. We talked to him and he kind of has the same feel not same feeling about the music industry, but he was saying he's more focused on other artists and not so much him making music, even though he's making mad music. But he kind of seems like almost jaded, and he's young as shit too. You know. Rob put a lot into this shit though. I don't think that's what people realize. Yeah. Rob put a lot into this shit, and he didn't get a lot of shit that he deserved. Right, you don't think that he gets the recognition he deserves, right? Hell no, bro. Rob should yeah. be way bigger than what he is. It's just how right. the world works now. It's crazy, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I say that with all respect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that's how good I think he is. Like, he deserves yeah. to be way bigger. Right. There's hella people that I know that deserve to be way bigger. Right. Fuck, I feel like I deserve to be way bigger. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, it's a weird thing how this world works and how people project you and how they want you to be or ideally what they think in their mind is like the perfect artist to be right so like i said i'm more myself so it comes with as good it also comes with it bad you feel me like yeah. i can only be myself i can't sit here and act like i'm somebody i'm not you know what i mean yeah honestly i feel like that's the best way because when people don't understand when you're an artist you're already a slave to the schedule so when people want you to be somebody that you're not it makes the shit fucked up And that's when the road gets hard And that's when people start fucking with it's drugs tricky, And yeah. all the other shit You know what I'm saying You start to already alter yourself You said people got PTSD from the game Like you know what I'm saying It's crazy You did end up collaborating with Rob though Yeah we made a tape And how was that It's connected right That was real recent too like a year, like a year ago, a year now. Was that like a long time coming? Cause you guys just have been fucking. I mean, with we each had other? always talked about it since I was a kid. I opened up for him on his first tour when I was like seventeen. No fucking way. Yeah. All dope. So like, we, he's <laughs> that's no, he's crazy. Shout out Rob Banks. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and we've always talked about it, like back and forth, back and forth. But then one day, I just like, yo, bro, like, let's really do it. He's like, you want to? And I was like, yeah. And we just got it popping. We just did it like that. And it came out how it came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it came out pretty good. Yeah. No, connected was great. But I was saying it was it's interesting that, you know, you were saying with that members only, you hadn't collaborated heavily. Mm -hmm. But you ended up, you know, Rob was part of that. Yeah. So eventually you, you But that was kinda like afterwards when like right. you know, they kinda like everybody just started doing their own thing and shit like that. Right. So, right. Like I don't know if Rob left members only, but just you know, Rob was just doing Rob shit, you know. Yeah, he's got his whole everybody own... else in members only was just doing their their thing and then yeah. I was just I was just doing my thing, and at that time, I was already out of members only, so. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so now, with Pain, because I want to talk about that, uh, kind of jumping ahead, that's your actual first studio album, right? Yeah. By, like, technicality, even though yeah. you put out so much fucking yeah, work. Say, bro, you got mad shit. You basically yeah, have, like, yeah. 90 yeah. albums. Yeah, shout out, <laughs> shout, out my, shout out my label for that one. Yeah. How, did, how did that come to be? You know, like what we was just this? I was working with Jimmy Duvall at the time and we was just trying to come up with a way of like how to make something different. Yeah. And he was like, Bro, just start singing. I didn't have no confidence in it. I just did it and everybody liked it. My label liked it. I liked it and I kinda just ran with it. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna be the best thing in the world, but I liked it. It's kinda like I don't know, pain is like my eight oh eights and heartbreak. That's how I look at it. Damn, right. It's like the the pivot. The like, like nobody's gonna understand it right now, but it is definitely like timeless music. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like no, a I year, love, two years from now, people are gonna be like, "Damn." You I know love what I'm that saying? comparison. Yeah. yeah. 
Definitely. So that's that's just how I feel about that shit. I'm not saying I'm on a Kanye level or anything like that, but that in my eyes is, is my, that record. That, that's oh, what yeah. that's talk, yeah. talk your shit, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Fuck that. If you feeling like it, yeah. that's that's, that's, that, that's your that's your eight and heartbreak. Yeah, that's just the sentimental value it holds to me. You feel me? That like. Yeah. yeah, that's a fire comparison because For I sure. love that shit, and yeah. a lot of people didn't understand and don't understand a lot of. It. But now people look back on it as a classic. Yeah. So Facts. what was that? It's a good time was for the it, wheel. Was it was it was it Jesus that nobody didn't understand? Jesus? No, Jesus was good. No. Oh nobody, yeah, but no, people no, didn't no, understand. No, it. Nobody didn't understand Jesus at all yeah. either. I'm not gonna lie. Not when it dropped. No. It had some no. fire slaps. No cap. Yeah, okay, so blood on the leaves. Tapped in will everybody. I'm gonna do my Vanna White. So yeah, display that shit. Let's go. All right, boom. We're gonna have you spin it. You get three spins, and you can, you know, yeah, we'll see what right. happens. It's sturdy. Right. Pause. <laughs> Pause. No, spin that again. All right. <laughs> All right, what do you get? Truth or shot? Ooh, shit. What All right, he doesn't have liquor, though, does he? Do we have oh, no, nah, I can't sip no liquor. Okay. okay. All right. Spin we'll again. do Spin again. Spin again. All right. Fuck it. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, shit grub. Oh, okay. he gets snacks. All right. Yeah, boom. We alter that, nigga. We the boss. So why does she look kind of janky though? Hold on. So you're gonna basically try a snack and you're gonna tell us if it's gas or trash. Oh my god! All right, Bill, let's do this. <laughs> what looks good to you over there? Um, let me let me try let me try them cupcakes. All right, let's see. I'm That's a cake type of guy. There you go, Phil. All right, Wi-Fi is a cake guy. We want you to what try kind of, one. What are those? It's birthday These cupcakes. are hostess birthday cakes. Oh, Jesus. I All love right. birthday cake. Damn. This shit must be amazing, man. Let's let's see how... Uh... Tell us if you approve of those or not. Yeah. I've never seen that shit. There we go. Nice display. So let's let's see. Hey, those hostess is... used to slap when I was a young man. The double cups, the, you know, they used to come in the chocolate pieces. I believe you're right. All right, gas or trash? Let's go. That's the ones that Ice Cube was talking about on next. They Friday. look fire, like aesthetically, very pleasing. That's is that him? gas? Okay. Damn, Wi Fi says it's gas. That's him. All right, gas. That's him. That's perfect. perfect. All right, you get to spin again. All right. See what he got. Would you rather? Would you rather? Oh shit! All right, let's see what we got here. <sighs> this is funny. Would you rather give up your arms or your legs? Mm. <laughs> it's, it's a weird one. Mm. Now you gotta ask me another one. Would, would, I, would I rather give up something else? Because that's that. That's just I. W- I wouldn't give up either or. Like I'm just being real. All right. Would you rather have more time or money? More time. Damn, and why do you say that? Because it, it'd give me more time to have to come up with more ways to get, to get money. Wow, facts. I like that. All right, you get one more spin. <laughs> Let's see what no you got. No I'm going to tell you why I will have no arms no that. <laughs> oh, my God, not this again. Spin it again, spin it again. Did you get truth or shot again? <laughs> no, you got uh, shit grow. Oh, shit grow. Spin again. Oh. Oh, I'm actually getting lucky. It's the cupcake. The wheel is rigged. What is it? It's would you rather? Would you rather? Oh, no, spinning no. in. We gotta give him a new one. I'm not gonna make him do the same thing again. <laughs> Copper drop. Copper drop. All right. Let's see. He's gonna put something on the screen for you up here. <laughs> That's a small ass picture. Wow. That's a baby ass photo. <laughs> I think you can <laughs> Apple and then Plus, and it should like zoom in. But basically, Ooh. electric Hummer. You seen this one? <laughs> a thousand horse. I'm dropping. Would you cop? <laughs> You're not, you're not rocking with that? No. He's that dropping sh- the electric hammer. No. Fucking electric wow. hammer. Aching crab crawl. Get back too. to work, GMC. All right, That's boom. Crazy. Put the wheel up. All right. Can't do it. That's hilarious. So, Payne officially out. You were talking earlier about possibly doing some shows. Mm-hmm. And how, like, have you actually performed any of the material on Payne? No. No. So nah, this will be your first time kind of getting out there. Type shit. Is yeah. that like nerve wracking to you at all? Because you said it's like kind of like your new shit and. Kinda. Does it feel like it's gonna be a little like you got a little butterflies or anything? Does it? Does it feel new? I like how you said that. That was sweet, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, I just. It's just hard to predict what people like nowadays. Right. So I don't know what people are gonna want to hear. You know what I mean? I mean the album's getting a lot of love. Yeah. I've seen people loving the album. The streams are crazy. Yeah. So I imagine people are excited to hear your shit, especially in Florida. Yeah. 
I it's just more of like a worldwide thing for me. Right. Like I want everybody to know that shit. I want it to be bigger than Florida. You know what I mean? Of course. So. Oh yeah, we're we're in L.A. talking about it. Yeah, so. type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did travel here. Yeah. That's crazy. You're here too, so you're yeah. gonna be here working and shit, yeah. man. Yeah. Speaking of that, you were saying that you was like in the L.A. area and you was thinking about moving down here, man. Yeah. You feel like we were talking about the comparison about getting work done between Miami or Florida area and L.A. LA just yeah. in general. Um, you feel like Florida is just, just crazy, right? It's just a lot of partying, a lot of different bullshit going on. Just not even just that. I just feel like in Florida, in order for you to actually like get on your feet, you gotta kind of already like have a foundation. Yeah. You don't if you're trying to like build a foundation, it's kind of a little bit harder just because of how like everything is like cycled to be out there. Right. In LA, it's kind of like you gotta like get up on your grind. It's like almost like New York in a sense. You gotta mm-hmm. just like grind, grind, grind. You gotta grind, be at the grind. right place, right time. Not even just that. Even just to survive and live a regular life, you gotta grind. Yeah. Facts. And yeah. fucking in Miami, it's not like that. Like you can kind of chill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, in LA, you need three jobs. Yeah. That's crazy. You need to hustle. It's fucking crazy. You need to do everything. So for those shows, you said you maybe got a couple lined up. Uh, where do you want to perform? Uh, I think I'm performing in Tampa, Miami. In Orlando, and then uh, whenever any other states get open and they want to book us, like I'm with it. You know yeah, I mean? For fuck real. yeah, hit my man. If you book it. if you had the opportunity, because you've done performing, obviously, yeah. if you had the opportunity to perform anywhere on earth, there's no COVID, mm-hmm. hypothetically speaking. Where would you want to perform? Santa Ana. Really? Why the observatory? Yeah, I always sell that bitch out. That's why. <laughs> that shit is I so love. Fire. I love. You got going love there. in Santa Ana. That shit is so far. It's fun in there. Santa Ana is so far. We we be doing the most lit shit. No, but that's also like a spot that everybody has come through. I've been there. And yeah. I saw like Gucci there in twenty twelve. Travis, everybody, right, right before he went everybody. to prison. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a dope spot. I love it in there. It's a good yeah. spot. It's a gr- it's a great place. I seen some wild shit happen outside of there too. Mad times though. Every yeah, time I, I pull up crazy, there, yeah. it's, it's a crazy, good like, it's a good venue though. Yeah. I seen fun. somebody knock the security guard out. I seen some fire <laughs> shit like I seen you seen They're some wild, wild shit in there, right? <laughs> yeah, like it's lit over yeah, there. It's it's honestly it makes my head hurt thinking about that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> Shit be going down at the observatory, bro. Like even in the pit, bro. You just see people. Woo, 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 woo. Like, hard as I got fuck. a question. What's the craziest shit you ever seen happen, like on tour, just in general, like on tour? Let's just leave it on I tour. I was on the revenge tour with X and all of members only, and we got chased out of a mall in Phoenix by his fans. Yeah, it was just nuts. <laughs> you literally yeah. just got chased How out of the mall. Y'all just, was we sh- just shopping. At, yeah, we were just in an anime store. Like we went to the food court, and like a, a couple fans took pictures with us. And we were like, no, nah, we ain't post where we at. Like. Ain't nobody gonna see us. Next thing you know, we at the we at the fucking uh, Japanese store just buying like hella like Japanese shit. And yeah. Outside is just a mob of people. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like 30, 40 people. Just Mall security had to help you all out. You? No, like I'm talking like two hundred, like three. Like a like a mall, an actual mall. Bro, we got chased <laughs> out the mall. <laughs> oh my god. We got the mall security out. had to help y'all get out the store. The police probably. came and said, "Yo, you have to leave." <laughs> yes. They guarded off the kids so we can get a head start. Wow. That Probably, that's a great nuts. feeling. Man. How'd they find you? They just. I knew. think somebody posted on Snapchat or like Instagram or something like that. Like, Fucking oh, snitches. X is at this mall, like that, on Phoenix, Arizona, and, just and just pulled up. God, flooded. Damn. Next thing you know, bro, like I'm looking at fucking Kingdom Heart swords. <laughs> talking to like one Kingdom of the Hearts. boys and shit. Yeah. Looking at my phone. Next thing you know, somebody taps me and is like, yo, it's lit. I'm like, what? I look up and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's you just going got 300 on? people like at the glass, like, yo. God damn. Let me in. Can I get a picture? That's fucking crazy. Yeah. They said we were going to insinuate a riot if we don't leave. Yeah, yeah, right. It's a yeah. federal crime. I was like, That's fucking crazy. I like how you know the law. That's crazy. I got to know, bro. I was like, damn. Fuck that. That's nuts. So that was the cra- one of the craziest moments on tour? Yeah. Now, what about your best concert? What do you feel like was one of your favorite performances? Santa Ana. Santa Ana. You yeah, love still, Santa Ana. They got like a special place in your heart. Yeah. What Damn, happened? Shout like, out Santa Ana. Yeah, what Bro, happened there? It just there? sells the fuck out. <laughs> Everybody knows the words. It's just such like, a good it's just vibe. The yeah. energy is like on it's, ten. It's like <laughs> everybody came to like just tee up, bro. Like, uh, I like feels like you you're go. just on a natural bean, bro. bro. Like Ooh, you're just going the, crazy. The bean kicked in. I like that. Natural I love bean. the natural bean. Yeah. I like that. Fact. I'm going to fucking use that. That's the a good natural one. Bean, the natural bean is a real thing. Tap into your inner force and use that inner bean God to get damn. your things done. 
Because the bean can be used for all type <laughs> for of different things. Of yeah. I used to know people who used to pop beans to like do homework. No lie. No cap. Yo, I know hella college students that do that shit, bro. Of course. Yeah, it's crazy. I, hella college we students. Said, we said that, that the bean is still alive. Shout out. Shout out. Daniel's streaming. Yeah. Here in a, streaming. Streaming. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> oh, you're streaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. You're um, getting beamed up. You're streaming. Fuck. Where? That's crazy as shit. So I got one more question for you uh, in terms of albums. Mm-hmm. So you had some features on your album. Right. Uh, and you've obviously collaborated with tons of other artists. Are there, is there anybody that you just haven't gotten to collaborate with that you, you want to? Like that would kind of match you in terms of energy? And... The only two people I want to collaborate with is Young Thug and Frank Ocean. Shout out. That's, that's a great co- That's a great But why? People. Why do you say that really quickly before I go? Frank is like one of the best like Hands artists down, like yeah. music artists of all time and Thug is probably one of the greatest like artists of all time as well. So it's yeah, like, I only want to work with like the best. Fucking, I don't yeah. care about working with nobody else. Just goats you know, only. Yeah. I feel like I could do fine on songs like all by myself. <laughs> yeah, honest, you don't really have to. Like I kind of made it this far just doing me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like I, I don't want to like fuck up the formula. I feel like once I start going away from the shit that got me to the dance, yeah, a lot of people don't want to see you on the dance floor anymore. Yeah, mm. heavy hundred percent, man, a hundred percent. Uh, and then where can we have people tap in with you just to make sure they're like staying in, you know, I mean, just on, on top all of my social media is a Wi Fi's funeral, just Wi Fi's funeral, yep. Instagram, fucking run the album up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then if you're in Florida, be sure to fucking catch those shows. Yeah. Cause that shit's going to be lit. Yeah, no, we finna tee up. We'll yeah. Thanks again for tapping in with us, Wi Fi. Uh, you know, cool we're tapping guy, out, man. man. Yeah. Crazy. Pound it up, my all dog. Right, Thank you, man. Back on that X. Back on that X. Back on that X. Back on that X. Back on that X.